Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Moments Lucas Mora card to review today. The requirements for this SBC are absolutely crazy and we'll be taking a look at that at the end of the review. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, my boy actually has a really, really well-balanced team in regards to how everybody can potentially line up. So we're going to see what's up with this. In regards to Lucas Mora, guys, we are looking at a card that is 5'9", high-medium work rates, right-footed, four-star uh, four skill moves, and a five-star weak foot. If you guys remember, Lucas Mora, even though I didn't like him that much, not on the level of someone like Depay, because Depay was one of the baby meta cards for some people as well. I wouldn't say that I, I disliked Lucas Mora as much as Depay. I just felt like Lucas Mora was disappointing in relation to or in comparison to uh, some other players that were better baby, baby meta cards. But Lucas Moore was obviously still the guy that you had to put on your team because there wasn't really that many crazy options. Now, with this card, he's been drastically improved. So I do see a lot of potential with him. He could be a very, very good player. The fact that my boy actually has Neymar in the team actually presents a lot of opportunities for me. So we're going to see what's up with that. In regards to his traits, guys, he doesn't have any of the crazy traits, but he does have the flare trait, which is always a nice thing. Thing to have he has 99 acceleration with 94 sprint speed shooting stats from base card stats look great 96 attacking positioning 96 finishing 93 shot power with 89 composure so 89 composure uh is good enough because i think his dribbling is going to be pretty good i do think that my boy over here actually gave him a good chemistry style because he's boosting the shooting as much as possible his pace is already as good as it can be passing stats for this card is good enough because let's be honest you don't really notice that big of a difference with passing in regards to how this game kind of plays out but the important thing here is that regardless of the agility balance and composure that this card has with the five foot nine height you still need to improve those dribbling stats to make him as responsive as possible right it's just a, always an ideal situation in regards to a physical presence, this card doesn't really have that much strength. However, the marksman will give him a 74. But the most important thing here is the fact that he actually gets an aggression plus five stat boost, which is obviously amazing to have on the card. So the card looks great. I think if he's like around a million coins, because he's untradeable, right? Because there's a huge variable with that. Obviously, this card is a card that'll exist in the game forever now because he doesn't expire. But I wish they gave him traits, you know, finesse shot trait, outside foot shot trait, just to make the price more, you know, better, I would say. So more better. Not I, I, There's a space in between that more and better. So, you know, just period and then you know, better, you know, I don't know. You guys know the deal. Anyways, the way that I'm going to be lined up with Lucas Mora in the game is going to look like this, right? We're going to be using the 4-2-3-1 as we normally do. I've been using Spencer's tactics recently just because it's different and I like using different tactics constantly. I was using Renner's and I liked his. Uh, but you guys know, I don't like being linear in regards to the types of uh, teams and whatnot that I keep using. So uh, yeah, we like to switch it up from time to time. So the way that we're going to be lined up with this team is I want to kind of try him out first in the cam position because in the cam position is where I personally used him when I first started uh, my Road to Glory team because he was like one of the Premier League uh, cards you would just have in your squad. Cut passing and stay back while attacking. I think that works perfectly fine for that. We'll just make sure that he's on conservative because of stamina. I don't even want to put conservative. I just want to have these guys on balance, to be honest. Just not on stay on the edge of the box. Stay forward. We'll tell him to come back in the fence because he has stamina. And then Neymar. I think Spence uses him on stay central and target men. So that should be good too. So yeah, we'll be lined up in the 4-2-3-1. I'll be trying him in the middle. I'll be trying him on the sides. I'll be trying him as a lone striker. You'll be able to tell whether or not he'll make a good striker next to somebody else in a 4-4-2 setup as well, just because of the way that he's going to be moving around the pitch. Because I do also want to try him up top, because off-the-ball movement with cards like this that have the high-medium work rates and the attacking positioning higher with, you know, chemistry styles that basically essentially make it perfect, I feel like is a very, very important thing. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get into a game, see how it plays. To be honest, this team actually looks really cool. Very, very cool concept slash meta. But there's like so many like interesting cards in here. Where, like moments, kind of Varro, Gomez, you know, Edrisa Gana Gay. Like a lot of really, really cool cards. So let's get into a game, see how he plays. Hopefully he is a beast. The comparison that I saw a lot of people actually making was uh, him and Richarlison, even though it's hard to make a comparison between two because Richarlison is more physical oriented because he's taller and he actually has that body type. Um, 
But we'll see what's up because the five star weak foot obviously makes a huge difference for these types of cards. But as you guys know, uh, finishing in FIFA is pretty linear in regards to how you should shoot. So we're, we're going to have to test out a few things here and there without the traits, right? All right, boys, let's see how this card moves. Oh, his left stick dribbling is really solid, actually. A little bit of strafe over here. Yeah, it's good. Okay, so no emphasis at all. That's really good. Marksman chemistry style is definitely going to be the chemistry style you give this card. Um, because those three main drilling stats needed to be improved, and they feel improved, so that's good. Positions himself well in the cam position so far. Not super aggressive. If I get over here. Aggressive, but kind of like goes to the side over there. Okay. Now occupies a striker position. Rotation policy with the other player. Starts to rotate back. Okay, good. His movement is constant. Constant movement is very important because situations like that unfold and you could potentially score. So you can see that his attacking AI actually triggers there really nicely at the perfect time. So very, very important there. I like the way he's positioned in the cam spot right now. It's funny because when a player actually plays like a center, like if their position in the game is a center forward, it actually feels like they make a good center forward. It's very weird to talk about, but it just feels that way, you know? That's the run. Perfect. That's the run I'm talking about right there. Now, I, I decided to shoot far poles just because I'm a savage and I want to try to shoot a different type of shots. But obviously, they are not the consistent shots to score. You got to go near post in that situation. Or not near post. You got to go. That that was near post. You should have gone far post because of the way that the angles work in this game. Um, but you guys can obviously see right away in the cam position just him running into the space right there. It's exactly what you want your players to do to kind of break down people who are defending hardcore. So... The baby meta part of the card, still very, very relevant. He feels way better than his rare goals card, for sure. I actually think in the center forward position, he's going to be the best. I think he's going to be the best in that position. It just, he feels really good there so far, but we will be trying him out in different positions as well. Yeah, touch and go, I like that. Once you get used to his off-the-ball movement in regards to those aggressive runs and you start to analyze it a little bit, it's a nice card, man. Nice run right there. Utilizes the side position. We'll try a nice little law pass right here. I love the runs that he's making, man. Off the ball movement is great with him. No complaints about it. It's not generic. He's moving around the pitch really nicely. The, the baby meta concept is definitely transferred over. Even in this situation right here, just telling him to come back in defense, he's actually doing a really good job of doing that as well. Which is fantastic. That's going to be offside for sure. Try a shot from this angle. Oh, pretty good, man. Those are really low percentage shots. I love that he always makes those runs. Like, he's playing off of, like, how the other cams are playing, which is really nice. His dribbling for those small little intricate touches is great as well, so that's very important. Touch and shot across goal. Great little finish right there. You want to get those subtle touches, man. I, I like. Listen, I'm going to tell you guys this right now, man. He's playing the cam position really nicely. I honestly don't really have complaints about this card. I'm really liking his off the ball movement. When he gets the ball at his feet, he's very good as well. Like I don't, I don't really have too much complaints about that. So cam position working really nicely. Let's try him out in the striker spot now. Run instantly. Nice. Good. 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 Very good. There's like specific passes when you kind of like, you know, build up the play with your CDMs there that you want your players to make runs for, which he does. What do you do here? Boom, boom. Sticks into the middle right there, which is perfectly fine. I'm okay with that. There wasn't like a very obvious like, oh, you should probably make a run here. Um, the instructions I'm going to change just for now because I, I was using, I believe... Stay central and target man for the striker. So I kind of want him to to move freely, um, just to see what he's gonna be like in that area. Yeah, you can kind of see like what the instruction he plays his instructions really nicely, which I don't want him to right now. Um, we're gonna go ahead and change that. But again, aggressive run right there in that situation, which is perfect. Okay, so yeah, instructions, he's playing it perfectly, but I don't want him to do that. So we're going to keep him unbalanced, and then we're just going to have Neymar and come back in defense 
And uh, we'll see how Lucas Moura plays up top like that. Neymar actually plays really well in state central target, man. Like, in the, the way that he was lined up in the team was, like, amazing. Because he has amazing off-the-ball movement. It's disgusting. Mm, you see how he starts to utilize his runs a little bit more? Yeah, good left stick dribbling right there. Makes a run to the bottom. How fast do you go into the middle here? Okay, so he sticks to the side because he's doing a rotation policy with the other players. So you can see that Messi actually occupies his position. So, um... Because of all of that, you can kind of see that Lucas Moore is doing the same thing over here. Let me see if I do this, get that little touch. Stays in an onside position really nicely in all fairness. Okay. Yeah, rotation policy like crazy with the other attackers. So, in the striker position, um, you should expect that with this card, for sure. Uh, but I, I need to try him on stay central because I want him to make those runs, but I want him to be playing in the middle, right? Because he's a... A person that constantly rotates it's a little bit hard to kind of like judge a little bit so we'll see if we can get this little angle right here potentially we don't but nice scoop turn right there oh man i almost got that angle right there i got i got too close to the goalkeeper that's why i didn't score it but uh i mean dude he's he's moving nice man he's moving nice i want to try him on state central though because stay central, he's not going to rotate as much with the other players. But maybe he makes those really good daunting runs in the middle. Because there's certain positions where it's like if he didn't do the whole rotation policy with the other players, he could have utilized a certain space in the middle. So I want to see if he does that more in the striker position. Okay, so over here you can see that he kind of sticks at his position right there. Boom. I'll make the little pass off right here. Make that run. Uh, not super aggressive right there. He feels more aggressive in the cam position in regards to getting this into those areas of the pitch. Yeah, you know why I like him in the cam spot? Because he feels less limiting. Oh, and I'm going to get super lucky right here. But, you know, shot across goal is not... I mean, look at the the the, the power of that strike. It was, it was like, barely even relevant there. Um, yeah, don't use him as a striker. Don't use him as a striker. He can be played there. He can, but it feels so wasted. I feel like he plays... Like, look, you see how he has center forward, right mid, and left mid? Dudes, I'm telling you guys, man, it's so weird in FIFA because they just feel like that, you know? Like, with, with these cards, they just... You could just tell where they belong, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I loved him in the cam spot because there's no, there's no instruction you have on him, you know? He just moves the way that he's supposed to move, and uh, I loved it, so... Cam spot for me is, is it's definitely worth it. Striker, like you could. In a two striker formation, he's okay. One striker is like kind of meh. Um, but let's try him on the sides now. Oh, I love his left stick dribbling. It's actually so nice. It's not on the level of like Bernardo Silva or Messi or anything like that, but it's it's still really good. Hmm, interesting. Gomez is the type of guy that moves all over the pitch, too, so he's kind of, like, limiting uh, Lucas Moore from actually making that middle run right there. Rotation policy. Starts to utilize the middle position. We'll do a skill move. Nice little fake shot stop. Get into the position. Fake shot again. He's always, uh, he definitely has a rotation policy with the other players. If I'm being honest with you guys... That is amazing to have in the cam spot. I don't like players that are super aggressive for no reason. You know what I'm saying? But Lucas Mora, like, the way that he pushes into certain positions is really, really nice. Um, I, I personally am not a fan of him too much on the sides or in the striker position. But, man, in the cam spot, I thought he was moving super nice. Like, one of my favorites, to be honest. Finesse shots are actually really powerful without the trade as well, which is really cool, too. All right, guys, so final verdict on this Lucas Moore card is that he makes a very, very solid cam. Now, it's funny because when I use his rare golds card, even at the time of me not really liking him that much, but him being like one of the few options of baby meta, um, I used to tell people before that I didn't like using him in the striker position or on the sides, right? I really enjoyed using him in the cam spot. That's where I felt like he was best utilized, right? And 
With this card, it feels the exact same. He's definitely, because of the stat improvements, he's definitely incredibly usable on the sides and in the striker position, especially if you're using a two-striker formation in a 4-4-2 or something, because I feel like he could play off of other people really nicely because his left stick dribbling is actually very solid. But I really felt that difference with this card when I was playing him in the cam spot, because when you're playing him in the center cam spot, the movement in the middle is very different to the movement on the sides, right? Because the way that he was moving off the ball to get into certain positions was really, really nice. Because I noticed that when I put him in the striker position, he had this huge rotation policy with the other players, which I don't really want that much, right? Um, that's why I loved Richarlison, because Richarlison had a little bit of it, but he really stuck to his position really nicely on the balance instructions. But with Lucas Moore, I really felt like he rotated way too much. There was a specific moment where I'm like, if this is someone like Richarlison in the striker position, he would utilize that empty space instantly, and I'd be able to score right? Lucas Mora does that the most in the cam spot. And it's funny because in game, you can actually see the positions of the players and he actually has center forward, left mid and right mid as those options. And in game, he actually feels like he only belongs in those positions. I would never use this card as a lone striker or as a left or right cam, but as a left mid, right mid and cam, um, like a center cam, he plays those positions really nicely. So we were personally using the marksman chemistry style, which gives him a plus five for aggression, which could be a beneficial thing, but then you could also give this card a maestro chemistry style because 96 finishing is already pretty decent, right? But you'll be boosting the shot power, long shots, volleys, the same dribbling boost, but also boosting his passing as well. So, you know, if you're going to be using him in the cam position, which is the one that I highly recommend, he's really, really good. Now, if I don't like doing comparisons, I love looking at players individually because the moment you start comparing is the moment the game becomes more meta. But if you want to look at the comparison between him and Richarlison, I wouldn't compare them because Richarlison, I wouldn't put Richarlison in the left or right cam positions, right? Richarlison is strictly center cam and striker, mostly striker. The way that he moves in the striker position is way better than Lucas Mora. However, Lucas Mora moves really, really nicely in the cam position and in my opinion, better than Richarlison can in that position. So they both... Imagine having both of them, right? Lucas Moore as your cam, and then Richardson as your striker. You just have some really beast Brazilians up there, you know? So if you guys can do that on your team, I would highly recommend it because I really, really enjoyed using this card in the cam spot. The price of the SPC is way too expensive for the, uh, for the um, value that he offers in game, right? If he had the traits of finesse shot trait and outside foot shot trait, then for the untradeable aspect of the SPC, I would have been totally cool with it. But... With all the trades, I think the price range of it is way too big, right? So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. Thank you to my boy John again for letting me do this review. Use him in the cam position, John, because he's freaking beast there, all right? And Neymar up top with Alejandro Gomez on the left side and Messi on the right side because, whoo, the team was moving with those, with those instructions on the players. Um, but, yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys for the next video. Peace out, dudes. Thank you guys so much for the support on the YouTube channel, man. I really appreciate it. Bye. Love you.